So we've got a reasonably new flagpole and a new flagpole mount, but it's all wibbly wobbly, and no matter how much I tighten this knob, it's never gonna really get tight. So let's model an adapter to fix that problem. My flagpole needs an adapter so that it's not super duper loose. And I started to type up a quick adapter in OpenSCAD and then I realized to myself, I bet people would like to learn how to do something like this. Uh, so let me tell you my plan here. My plan is to make a C-shaped cylinder uh, with a hole in the side, just like a C, uh, where the flagpole, which is going to represent this O, uh, goes in there. So uh, basically I want the C and the flagpole should be sized just right so that it slides into the C and then the C fits inside the adapter because the, the adapter is um, much too large, basically. And if I do something like this, hopefully you get the idea. Anyways, uh, that's the idea. You know, the flagpole will sit inside the um, the C, which will sit inside the mount outside. And I've already gone and measured the mount, and it's about 26.36 millimeters uh, on the inner inside. So the inner diameter of this uh, flagpole mount that's hanging outside my house is 26.36, and that's probably enough tolerance that if I just print out a 26 millimeter cylinder, it should slide right into it. Um, and there's a little knob on the side to tighten it down. Uh, okay, so now I need to know the, the outer diameter of the flagpole and I happen to know that. Um, so the pole diameter is just over nine, it's actually uh, about 19.36. It was like 19.37 or something like that, 37. So that means if I represent the pole diameter as just a little bit bigger than this, I should be good. So I'll, I'll just go with 20 millimeters. Let's document that. So this, I'm going to make a cylinder that's 20 uh, millimeters in diameter uh, and another cylinder that's 26. And I'm just basically going to cut out the 20 millimeter diameter cylinder from the inside. So let's get that started. Super duper simple. I'm going to make a difference call because I'm going to be um, making an outside cylinder. And that's going to be mount inner diameter. And the height, uh, I believe, I forget, but I, I'm, I'm actually going to go double check this uh, in a moment. But for now, I'm just going to put in like, uh, let's say the, let's say height is 20, 20 millimeters. Actually, it's a lot longer than that. Now I think, but it's probably like 25-ish. I'll say 30. <laughs> and I'll go out and measure that and fix this before I do the, the print. And I'm going to say center equals true because in, Open SCAD, it's always things are always easier if you um, to, to calculate the math and figure out line things up if everything's always centered for, for the most part. For the most part. And now I'm going to make another cylinder that is the inner diameter, which is the pole diameter. And the height is going to be just something bigger than height. So I can say height plus one, and that would just I, mean, I don't have to. I can make it exactly the same, but then I'll show you, actually I'll show you what that looks like. It's just a little issue with open cad. See how the um, top here is not looking quite right? But if I just make it a smidge taller, because it's a cutout, right? Now it looks, you know, it renders properly in preview mode. And for reference, if I if I do a final render F6, it's not gonna show that weird graphical glitch. So the only reason for that to exist is just so that you get a better preview, right? And this is not, really what I want. Like, uh, it's a little too low, low poly for my tastes. So at the top of my open, open SCAD file here, I'm going to make uh, a little resolution change. I'm going to say 64 and that should be better. There we go. So that's, that's, that should be a lot better when it's out on the flagpole from a distance. Nobody's going to be able to see these little lines. It's not going to matter. I'm going to print it in white. Should be, should be easy. So yeah, the flagpole will sit inside here. In fact, let's make a example flagpole do this. And I'm going to put a little percent in front of it just to, so we can visualize the flagpole. Now I'm going to hit F5, but it's a little too short. Let's make it nice and big. We'll make it like height times three. Right. So the flagpole is going to sit inside there and it actually won't go all the way, you know, won't go beyond it. It'll just sit at the bottom here. And it should slide in there, and, if, and the pull diameter is actually a little bit less than that. It's actually, let's put the measured value just to 
See how there's some extra room there. So this is just a temporary thing that we can visualize it uh, while we're working here. And there's one other thing I need to do, and that is I want to cut a hole. Like I just want to make a cutout in the side here, so that when I screw in, there's a screw that comes in on the on the side. When I screw that in, uh, it will it will screw into the metal pole, and not this plastic part. Right? That'll way it'll hold strong, and this should make it nice and centered inside of that uh, flag mount. So I'm going to leave this here, and for reference, because it's got a percent sign in front of it, it's rendering uh, transparent like this, but if I do a final render, it's not even going to be there, right? So I can leave that there in my final uh, design, it's not going to hurt anything. So let, now let's make the little cutout, and for that we're just going to use a cube. Um, and we're also going to do a centered. Right? And the values, uh, I'm just going to fudge them. I'm going to say cut out. Make it nice, make it a global just to be consistent, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna say the cutout is gonna be five millimeters. So we're gonna make a nice cube that is five by, five. well, it's gonna, one of these will be longer. And then the height will be the height plus one, right? Because we want it to go up and down, you know, the whole height here. So let's actually see what that looks like with a percent sign. And let's comment this out temporarily. Right, so it's obviously not wide enough, right? So let's say cutout times, we'll do cutout times like four. Let's make, and that's that's probably good enough, but actually I wanna do it on the x-axis, not the, not the y. And now I just wanna move it over to the right a smidge. And we're gonna have to do that, we're gonna use translate, indent that a bit so it looks nice. And we're gonna move it, uh, since it's cutout times four, we're going to move it halfway, and that'll be cutout times two. Right, and then we'll do zero here, and now it should move over. And now, you see how it's a little bit taller? If I take this percent sign away, bam. Now I've got my little C-shaped cutout that I was talking about, and that's my flag holder. I'm done. <laughs> uh, so a lot of times, what I'll do is I'll add like a tolerance here. So I'll put the actual value as 26 point, you know, whatever, and then I'll add a tolerance value. Uh, but in this case, I know I happen to have like a set screw that I can just tighten around it. And so as long as, as, long as it fits in there, it, it can be a little wobbly. It's not going to matter uh, as long as the set screw can make it through to the uh, steel flagpole, which is in the center. And that's it. Uh, now it's time to print it out. Real, real simple. Probably this, one of the simplest uh, designs you can get in OpenSCAD. But this should solve my problem. Uh, so to do that, I'm just going to hit F6 for a final render and I'm going to save the STL. So I just measured the depth. I was way off. Uh, the depth uh, of the uh, flag mount pole is actually like 80 millimeters. And I'm gonna, it's really depth. So I'm gonna change that to depth. All right, now we're talking. So yeah, it's actually pretty deep. <laughs> way deeper than I thought it was uh, once I measured it. So now let's print this out. Actually, let's render it and save it. Yep, I'm gonna overwrite the one that's there. And now I'm going to go to Prusa Slicer, and I'm going to import this file, and I want to print in white, and I happen to have um, some white loaded in Extruder 5. And let me just double check here. Yeah, I can do hot, thicker than that. This can be super thick, it doesn't need to be a uh, super fine resolution. And something like this you definitely want to print in PETG because it's going to be out in the sun, it can get hot, and uh, if it's like PLA, it can warp and get all messed up, and you don't want that. So, all right, let's give it a try. Let's export says it's going to take an hour and 27 minutes. That's not too bad. And I'll start printing. Well, it fits on there. Let's see if I can do this. Look at that. First try. <laughs>